town of Elena is right in the center of the starry Planina mountain range in the province of Veliko Ternovo. It has around 6,500 population. Though the town has a lot for tourists to see, it's not very well known, especially in the foreign market of tourism. And even a lot of Bulgarians have not been there either. You'll never believe the deal that we got on this place. Two nights stay, and I'm gonna share that secret with you later. Straveti Priateli. Welcome back to A Taste of Bulgaria. Today, I'm in the town of Elena. Hidden little gem in the Balkan mountains, home of Alenski Bud and Slivarakia. So, we wanna know a little bit about the town of Elena. The story goes, a married couple, Elena and Samuel. The bride, she was taken. She was abducted and then she was killed by the abductors because she tried to escape. Husband also, Samuel, he was also killed just outside in another town. And they named that town Samuelette. And then the parents of Samuel came to live here and in honor of Elena, they decided to name this town here Elena. And this is the story of how Elena became. And actually, I'm gonna take you now just for a little walk down the main street. You can see how beautiful this town is. So during the 18th and 19th century, Elena established itself as a, a center of arts, crafts. It's absolutely a beautiful town, as you can see. Memorials on the sides of buildings, and the architecture is, is a little bit like Sozopo, a little bit like uh, Deseba. It's a really beautiful town. Here is Cafe Mina. I don't know if it's open at the moment, obviously with the pandemic and everything. Over, also over there is a little art boutique. Here, nice little bookshelf here. I, don't, I think you can just grab your own book, bring one, take one, it's nice. Or Karutsas. This just shows the artisticness and the culture here in Elena. We have one guy here, I'm not sure who this is. Let's have a look what it says on the side there. SKP Dimitrov. So, or Ivan Petkov. I think it was made by Ivan Petkov. It was uh, sculpted by Ivan Petkov. But this is SKP Dimitrov. Yeah, it's beautiful. Rodna Kushta Todorov. Here you can see coming up now is the art boutique. Cafe Mina. There are many things to see and do in the town of Elena, and in future episodes, I'm going to go through my top picks. We stayed at the Spa Hotel Elena, right in the center of the town. There was no parking, but at least there was no blue zone. The room was nicely presented and came with amenities. There was also a mini fridge, which was needed as there was no chance for drinks outside of meal hours, maybe due to the pandemic. Beautiful views from the room of the Balkan Mountains. So this is what our deal included. The spa center had a nice little swimming pool, a steam room, and three types of saunas. And of course, massage was possible at a charge. We had buffet breakfast, same on each breakfast. Lunch consisted of three courses, was a soup, a main course, and a piece of fruit. Okay, so now let's go down to dinner, see what dinner's like. This is a relatively small elevator. I think you can only fit about three people in here, four maximum. Everybody's thin.
Dinner also consisted of three courses. We had a salad, a main course and a cake. So, second night dinner, you see what we got. We had tomato, a bit of cucumber, some sort of salad with uh, roasted red peppers and cream cheese. It was all right, it was quite tasty. Main course was uh, some frozen vegetables and pork. I mean, it's all price relative at the end of the day, so, you know, but it's tasty, it was good. So, it's not like last night. Last night I preferred, you didn't see the videos from that, I didn't have a chance to film it, so we had a Shopska salad, and a bit of a grill. This was more my thing. So second night, but it's all, again, like I said, relative to the money. So I'm happy, I'm happy. So we paid for all of that 40 lever per person per day. Jana was free because she's under seven. If we wanted a separate food for her, we would have to pay for that. She doesn't eat much, so she ate from ours. How did we get this deal? Then I'm gonna show you how to get deals like this future episode. If the video is ready, you will see the link in the video description or at the end of this video. So that concludes our stay with the final lunch. Nice little lentil, homemade lentil soup with some kind of chicken mushroom stew gratinated with cheese, very nice, very tasty and a final apple. So we've really enjoyed our time here at Elena. It's been great. I definitely recommend that you come here. Not many people come. It's not a very touristical place. So I definitely recommend that you come and check it out. Beautiful place. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video.